Hey guys, it's Tanea, and in this video, I am going to share why I no longer wear Lashify lashes. By no means is this going to be like a trash talking video, it's just my honest reasonings as to why I no longer wear Lashify. Now, Lashify has been on the scene for, I wanna say about three to four years, give or take a year, and it truly has revolutionized the way the consumer can do their own lashes at home. It merged the ease of applying lash strips with the beauty of lash extensions. It, the way that you would apply the system, it was completely different and genius than what was available on the market at the time that it came out. So the Lashify system, you get these like little lash segments or clusters and instead of applying it on your lash line like you would a lash strip, you would actually apply it underneath your lashes. And the beauty of that was that when you would go out and about, they're undetectable, they're unclockable. Like people would either think that you have naturally beautiful lashes or they would Thing that you had got your lashes professionally done. It's so lightweight, the, the adhesive that you get is very gentle on your eyes. Matter of fact, when I converted over to like the Lashify system, my own natural lashes were able to grow in length and also in thickness. They're so lightweight and so gentle that it caused no compromise to my own lashes. They actually allowed my lashes to recover from the damage that I experienced when I was wearing lash strips and even when I was getting my lashes professionally done. If you know how to unlock like the, the techniques that will really maximize your wear, you can have them on for up to like about two weeks. They advertise about three to five days but if you really know what you're doing, you can get it to last up to two weeks, which was the type of wear that I would always get. And it's a, like it was easier than lash strips, in my opinion, and more cost effective than getting your lashes professionally done and the upkeep required to get them looking good all the time as well. I started Lashify system about, I want to say three years ago, maybe even four. And... It was great. So when you start with Lashify, you would start with the control kit more than likely. And in that control kit, it pretty much includes everything you would need initially to wear the system. You will have your lash wand in there, um, your lash application wand. You have like the um, adhesive. You'll have two lash styles. And I, I feel like there was something else in there as well, but that's pretty much what you get in it. It costs, I think when I started, it costs somewhere between like 150 and 200 and it's probably about the same now, but their lash segments, they call them customers. And they cost about $25 each cartridge. In a cartridge, you would get one particular style and one length. One cartridge can be enough to create one lash look and if you know how to clean or rewear them, you that, that cartridge can last you quite a bit of time. Now, if you were gonna, one of those people who like wore it once and would expose of it afterwards, you would just apply a whole new cartridge. And again, each cartridge is $25. So each new look, if you decided to wear your um, gossamers in that way, would cost $25. If you want to create a multi-dimensional look or like a kind of a unique lash map, you are probably going to pay on average about $75 for that new look, which again is kind of a little bit on par with what you would pay to get your lashes professionally done. So it is a little pricey, but again, someone like me, I would always kind of like reclean them by soaking them in um, alcohol and rewearing them. And I would we, we wear them multiple times until, until the wheels fall off. So it, I was able to make it cost effective and make it worth it for me. One thing that it, I didn't mention, right? I was talking about how easy it is to apply like lash strip. It's really quick to do as well. And I think the first time I applied them, it took me maybe like 15 minutes to, or 20 minutes to apply them for the very first time. As you get used to it, it takes like five minutes or seven minutes. So it's so quickly, so quick and easy to apply. So 
that's my history those are all the great things that i can say about lashify again when they came out there was like the first of its kind doing it and they really had a chokehold on that for a while i remember kiss had came out with their own version of a similar system as Lashify. And it was for a fraction of the cost that you would get Lashify. And Kiss versions, which is still now available in stores, you would get like the two-sided lash glue bond. It was pretty much a replication of Lashify's lash glue, which it was like two-sided. You get like a white bond on one side and a black bond on another side. Same with the Kiss's, Kiss's version. I believe, if I can remember correctly, that Lashify was trying to make the system patent pending at the time. So there was some litigation um, between Lashify and Kiss and trying to get Kiss removed from stores for pretty much knocking off Lashify's system. I don't know what the development of that has been. I don't know if it's still ongoing, but I do remember that being a thing and I do remember being mentioned in that Lashify group how difficult it is in the cosmetic beauty industry and fighting these big brand beauty conglomerates when they knock off people's brands. Like this happens all the time. Not, only, not even in just like cosmetics, but it also happens in um, fashion as well. And I'm sure in other industries. From there, there were other competitors coming out with pretty much the same concept as well if you go on amazon even i believe if you even type in lashify but if you type in do it yourself lashes you're going to see tons of systems that replicate this and pro this same process and tons of different brands when i discovered i can get like tons more lashes for a fraction of the price on amazon like any consumer who likes to get the more the most bang for your buck i jumped onto that wagon i'm like oh my gosh if i can get the same system that I love for a fraction of the price, who wouldn't? Like I'm being all completely honest with it, right? So I tried a lot of like the no name Amazon versions that you can find on them. And I will have to say the quality is not really the same. Like some of them they will rip apart the moment that you would take it out the packaging. So I quickly learned that that wasn't worth it. Like I was only wasting my money in that sense. But there are other brands I tried and I bought into that were a fraction of the price that were all that were nearly as good if not better than lashify and i'm sorry i'm <laughs> guns are blazing there like a huge claims there but it was kind of a no-brainer and then i came across a brand that i do really really like and i'm not trying to like put pan companies together by mentioning the company that happens to be my favorite right now but i came across lilac street their lashes are like seven dollars and they have beautiful styles that are uniquely their own as Lash White has lash styles uniquely that their own. Some of them are kind of like comparative, but they're still uniquely each other's their own. Quite naturally, I'm not gonna lie, Lilac Street kind of stole my heart because a lot of their lashes were so, uh, with them being a lot more affordable, they give you a lot more room to be more experimental and to try all the lashes that they offer for $7 each. Even when you shop on their website, their free shipping minimum is like $40 compared to Lashify's, which I think is about $150. So again, like it just encourages to want to try a lot more of their lashes. Like you're telling me I can get three lash styles for the price of one lash on Lashify? I'm clearly gonna do Lilac Street. Now, with that being said, there are still lashes from Lashify that I loved back then that I still love now. But now that I have a lot more affordable options that I can experiment and change up to, like I just don't feel inclined to buy Lashify lashes like I once was. Like I'm always going to love the EEs. That was like my lash back then. Like I would get the EEs, cut them in half, and creative just a beautiful lash look that i loved um i love the fluffy i love their d's and dramatics but again like lilac streak had lashes that i absolutely love as well for a fraction of the price um lashify's lashes they come in longer lengths so i think their longest length on lashify is either 22 millimeters or 24 millimeter 
with lilac streak is 18 millimeter and that's only with one of their lash styles so lash by still went and lit like for me i love me a long lash i can do like an 18 millimeter and it not look too crazy on me maybe even 20 millimeter depending on the lash style but those are some stuff that i still so love about lash by but like because there are other less expensive alternatives it's just i'm willing to save a lot more um with lash styles that i love nearly the same um, there are some things still amongst Lashify that there are no comparison for. Like, I feel like their lash bond, or, like, remover, the best. Like, micellar water or any other alternative to it that I've tried is not nearly as good as Lashify's. So, I will still continue to buy that. Their lash wand is amazing. I did, a couple of months ago, try one of their newer lash releases called... I don't remember what it's called. I'll write it right here on the bottom. But it's their EI. I wasn't impressed with it. I was so underwhelmed by it. I took it off like the same day. And, you know, with it being $25 um, and me not being able to wear it again or, re or return it, that was kind of a waste of money for me. So I just kind of feel like there's a little bit more risk involved to trying their lashes and not knowing whether or not you're going to like it or if it's going to be flattering with you. But I will say this is the end of me wearing Lashify. It's, it's just I haven't been wearing it for a long time in a while. And I don't really anticipate me buying one like their lashes anytime soon. Um, like I might go back to my EEs for a brief moment or whatever. I don't know. But that's basically like why I no longer wear Lashify. I wanted to share that. I think Lashify is great. I don't think they should come down on price or anything like that. Um, Lashify, I feel like honestly it's kind of like the um the luxury of this lash system and, and with them being the first to come out with this type of system like to develop a product is very expensive it takes about two to four years on average for any new company or brand to reap like to get that return on their investment so i i don't think they should come down on price i think they're marketed as a luxury lash brand anyways i think they have a strong hold on that side of the industry i think there's room for everybody but yeah that's pretty much my long story as to why i no longer wear lashify i'm curious what your guys have thought like if you wear lashify how long have you been wearing lashify like was you wearing it like back in its infancy have you tried other brands out there what did you think about other brands out there if you are still loyal to lashify share with me why is it because you haven't tried the other brands out there or you have and you haven't been impressed i want to know but anyways you guys pretty much it for me and until next time bye